All right. Please go ahead. No, let's take yours before so that we can wrap up with the answers or the reactions. Good, good evening, everybody. My name is Kakri Samo. I'm the Director of Communications for the NDC. I just have one question for Oprosini David Eklu, whom I know very well. <laughs> Oprosini, the policeman or policemen who assaulted the Joy FM uh, Latif uh, Idris, I think that's his name. Have you found him? Have you identified him? Now, this is a very simple question. You gave a certain answer that you have developed a framework for how policemen should interact with media people. I don't want to comment on it. My opinions, you not like it. But I've asked this question because practically everybody who spoke on the podium, we are all very distinguished people. I know all of them fairly well. Took us several years back when things were that bad. I was, I'm old enough to know what happened. In 1982, June, three judges and an army officer picked from their homes. They were bent, shot and bent. Every year, and I'm a lawyer, every year, lawyers mark that event. So it is not for nothing that I'm asking about Latif Idris. I want all of you who are journalists here, you must at all times challenge the status quo. Please, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. You must at all times do what? Yes. Challenge the status quo. It is your duty and your responsibility. I do not like people who are always talking about responsibilities. Who gave them the right to tell you what to do? Who gave them the right? I'm a lawyer. The only thing that gives me orders is the court. And that is what is recognized by the Constitution. That's number one. Number two, my dear friend, the chairman of the NMC, was making some arguments about public and national, <coughs> public interest and national interest. Under the general law, public interest and national interest are coterminous. They mean the same thing. And the words public interest are defined in our constitution. It's clearly defined in the constitution. It means what benefits the majority of the people. But that was not where he was actually veering. He said something, that when an NDC station, or let me use NPP, an NPP station does propaganda that is apparently false about the NDC, that is not in the national interest. I'm, unfortunately, I disagree with him. It is in the national interest that my dear fellow says she's called comfort. It is in the national interest that she belongs to the NPP and I belong to the NDC. Because there's no single individual in this country who has overwhelming wisdom that should bind all of us. Do you understand what I'm saying? None. You and I have the same vote. Is that not so? I'm finished. <laughs> oh, all right. Let me get CPA crew to answer some of the questions. Uh, thank you very much, and I think that this um, conversation is very important for feedback and also let us engage, other than stay in our own small corners and then um, uh, uh, increasing the temperature of the country. Now, um, in terms of what uh, my friend said, what I said was that I'll share that framework with you. It's a media complaints desk. So if you have an issue with a police officer, maybe Ashanti region, we have the composition is the police, the public affairs officer, the police public affairs officer, the CID, GJA, Prim Park, and GIB, if they have presence in that region. So that if you have an issue with a police officer in that region, that place will be your first point of call. It's not the same as PPSB. So this is to improve media relations, address concerns. But even if a police officer has an issue with a journalist, he has to report to that text, and then the issue will be looked into. And if you have to take it up to the NMC uh, uh, Complaints Committee to be taken up. So it is a framework that we are sharing, and maybe you will have a copy. OK. In terms of um, people not reporting, the, I disagree with you. You are a security analyst. Take your officers to one of the police stations, Kennedy police station. Find out the number of people who are reporting at the police station. 
What I'm saying is that that graphic of publication from 2006 up to date, we have checked, and no report has been made at the charge office. If you don't trust the system, test it. That's why you're a journalist. Report to the police, and the police don't take action. You have cause to hold us accountable. That I wrote, I filed a complaint at the police station on this day, and nothing has been done, and you take it up through the chain of command. That's what I'm saying, that we are still checking that graphic report. But as, at, as, as I speak now, we have not received any confirmation that those journalists who were reported to have been attacked by either the police or the military have filed a particular complaint at the police station. Now, it, yeah. You've heard the statement, yes. I mean, but okay. can you have you tested that statement? <laughs> is it is it there's a difference between I heard the statement, I have gone to follow up and confirm. Is it, it is good that we begin to test the system? It is a good that we, it is good that we begin to put the police to account. It is good we begin to hold the police to account because we are to serve your interest. Now, with regards to Latif case, I'm glad you said, I'm glad, and I know you very well, and I your, know your legal um, background. Latif's case, we have concluded our investigation. We have not been able to identify the one who attacked Latif. Aha, uh -huh, you see, hey, it means that you have already concluded that it is a police officer who attacked him. And, and uh -huh, the way you are, <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, the second point that we have that has been taken is that media, um, multimedia has taken the case to court. The police is being represented by the Attorney General, and the process is ongoing. So we will all be happy to find out how that case will be finally determined, because there are two sides to the same coin. The, the, the police is saying this. The report will go to AG's office for it to go through the legal scrutiny or the legal process. So that is the update on Latif's case. So please don't conclude that our colleague or our friend was attacked by a police officer because there are several dimensions to that case. Thank you. Thank you, too. Mr.